So he was able to use that past experience to really go ahead and make some things happen. But you know what? You're not talking about Civil War no more. We're going into this next match here at West Side Saga. Uh, and you know what? Lima, we're going to the red team here, Javi. Yeah, so we got DLC almost across the board. But I mean, yo, like ZSS can't be DLC. I was going to say, like her, her conversions, that's, that's basically 599. She's so explosive that she may as well be DLC. Absolutely. At, at least 299. Like, come on. <laughs> at least 299. <laughs> can we get a 299? 399. Yo, it should be on sale now, right? Like, yo, the game's been out for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got Leva, Hami, Javi, Tweak, and Latai. See what happens, man. Yeah, we're starting out on Starterville, going to Smashville. You know what? See how this is going to be going. Oh, yo, I, I, I love the little tips that they gave you in the beginning. Yeah. It's like, yo, if you forget about this option, we got you. It's always relative to the pl the characters that are on the screen too, so that it is helpful. Oh my goodness, Lima already going for a witch time. Was expecting some type of falling there, but you know, let's hide knowing to you know not toss that out. All right, already the clouds going after one another, but Lima, you know, trying to go ahead and get this Edgar situation, and that's going to be an interesting dynamic as well because you know Tweak has a lot of experience in the cloud ditto. So he, he knows the character inside and out, whereas Javi, I would say he's more of a neutral base cloud. I mean, his cloud is up there with the best, but he's definitely got a ways to go as well. I mean, the thing about the cloud ditto in, in terms of Tweak is like, uh, yes, he does have a lot of experience, but he usually switches off often yeah. for the DK yeah. quite often, as we saw at uh, Shine a couple weeks ago. All right, Lima trying to go deep right now, going all the way out there. Not going to get the conversion. Surprised he didn't go for a nair. Went for that oh forward air. I think oh. he can get some type of reaction. All right, so Javi actually able to close out that stock with the double neutral airs, but Latai right there to finish him off as well. I love that from Latai. He went underneath the stage to avoid everyone and able to get back onto the stage. Oh my. Yo, the extension from the flip kick. Ooh, up airs. No, dude, let's high and speak is keeping up this pressure right now. I haven't seen Lima be able to go ahead and land down in quite a while, but down Whoa. smash, gonna catch him. He's gonna land down with that witch time. Able to close out Latai's stock. All players, two stocks apiece. Slight percent advantage to the blue team, though. No, no conversion right there coming off from Tweak. Notice that he was a little bit too far to get anything else out of it. And Javi just landing down with that upper, putting up some more percent slick back throw to go ahead and catch Tweak there. Ooh. Kicks. Oh, back airs. Yo, back air after back air. Yo, <laughs> that's a true team synergy right there. It's like, yo, you got a back air, I got a back air. Let's keep tossing it out. All right, so I like that. Javi kind of just delayed it right there to go ahead and try to get a follow up out of Lima. Yeah, red team on their final lives. Actually, all players on their final stocks, and Lima is actually gone. Wait. Javi left to fend for himself. Did he SD? Did he hit? Yeah, he looked like he SD'd. Maybe he uh, missed his triple jump. Okay. And that's that's probably the case. Yeah, I mean, a lot of Bayonettas, you know, they love to go deep. They love to expand all their options. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't pay off in their favor. But Javi in a really good position to go ahead and try to make this, make this a comeback. All right, he has limit now. But slickness coming off from Latai. Ooh, he lost his jump, though. Yeah, he's going to be forced to burn his limit. Oh, he tried jumping. Yeah, he saw the flip kick coming and tried to pick an option. It just wasn't the right one. He probably would have wanted to like get onto the stage, roll roll on. But either way, uh, Tweak was already there mm -hmm. to punish him. Even from regular limit. get up, yeah. like Tweak can go ahead yeah. and just react to that, yep. go ahead and grab him. So, yo, he was a no man's land. Yeah, he was. He was pretty much a goner. So that's gonna be game one going to Tweak and uh, Latai pretty convincingly. I mean, still down to the last stock, but I want to say that they had a, a lot more momentum going forward. Let's see if they can carry that. Moving into game two. Back on Smashville. No change of scenery. I mean, it could have been a completely different game in those last moments if yeah. Lima was able to hold on to that stock. Yeah, so here true. in game two, I'm looking for Lima to kind of just clean it up. Like, yes, Bayonetta's like to play very risky. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to be a little more passive, try to just play, play a little more optimal. Just wait out all these options, but yo, <laughs> speaking of this, spaghetti is all over for everyone. Now Latai joining in the fun of losing those stocks. Yeah, I'm not really sure what 
what that down air attempt I, I'm was. So if he did the down air the opposite way, I'm pretty sure he would have just landed on the, on stage. the stage. He did it the opposite way, and he ended up just falling and, off. And I think he would have actually spiked down uh, Lima there, but didn't work out in his favor. Lima getting a witch time here at the ledge. Well, Nothing from Unable it, to go yeah. ahead and get that trump, though. Yeah, Tweak had all the invulnerability from grabbing the ledge. Still closing it out with fares off the side. Yep, and just go ahead and let from that wit witch twist. So, really good version of that coming off from Lima. Alright, Latai being relentless off stage, trying to edge guard this Bayonetta. One of the hardest things to do in this game. Alright, got the soft spike. Definitely just get what you can. No, but Javi is still fighting right now, has limit on deck, waiting to go ahead and pull that trigger. But Latai has him off stage yet again. I like that. Just using the limit to go ahead and get back. But Trump back air. He really did not let him get back onto the stage. And Lima closing out in socks of his own with up smash. Still keeping it tight to the chest right now. Red team with five stocks to blue team's three. They're doing significantly better this time Did around. you catch that from Tweak a little bit earlier? No. So he missed an opportunity to hit him with some type of aerial. He just tried to go for a flip stool. I saw the double jump hop right off of him. That's actually some really slick stuff yeah. coming up in Tweak. Having that awareness to try to make it happen. Yeah, and I've seen it time and time again, man. Definitely meta starting to evolve with Cloud. Oh, what a catch, the man. Save? Alright, really good stuff, but it doesn't even matter. Back air catching his teammate and his opponent. He's like, there's no, no, no clouds. You're all, you're, all, you're all gone. I can't tell. Y'all the same color. <laughs> For real, especially when they got limit online, you all blue. You're all enemies. Oh my goodness. Latai, please. Going coast to coast to go ahead and land that back air. Alright, this whole team dynamic, like... What we're seeing so far is that blue team is getting these really clean conversions and from red team it's like they're kind of playing the 1v1 and they're really relying on the fact they can under they understand the characters and trying to get those games. Yeah, still three stocks to two. Uh, Tweak and Latai on their last lives. Still playing fairly well. Nope. And look at that. Really good Gimp right there coming out from Lima onto Tweak. Waited out that air dodge and was able to go ahead and convert. Ooh, alright. Oh, oh, take him. We got Nairs? A couple Up pairs, there. yep. Oh. That's gonna be it right there. And red team with a three stock right back. Yeah. Going into game three now. Pulling it all the way back. Made the adjustments that were needed. It's like you said, uh, Lima had SD'd that last game, so definitely... Oh, there's no, there's no SD's yeah. this time around. Nope. You know, Latai SD'd this time, so, yeah. you know, probably in Game 3. No, yeah. Hopefully no one can SD, or, you know, they're just going to transfer over to and, whose turn it is. I mean, also got to consider Lima and Javi were able to close that out when Lima actually just straight up killed Javi at one point. He got the, he got the KO on Tweak as well, but, you know, that was another stock of theirs gone. Yeah. Alright, here we go into game three. FD is going to be the pick uh, for Tweak and Latai. Uh, you know, going into this game, what I'm looking for is like Tweak probably, you know, has to go ahead and be aware that, you know, Lima's gonna go off there and try to give him exactly what he did on that final stock. But oh my goodness, a quick down air. Waiting it out. I love that from Lima. Try to go ahead and just wait it out and look at that quick stock. No! The last hit of the fair did not land. However, Lima still playing with a ton of momentum right now. Yo, Lima is just pressing buttons. Like, this man has not stopped pushing anything. I have not seen him actually put up a shield. I see nothing but oh specials, air dodges. <laughs> and that's the second time that Lima's gotten a witch time on Tweak where Latai has actually hit Tweak for it. All right, flip kick. Gonna go ahead and catch Lima right there into the upper, but you know, the stock's still gonna be able to hold on though. All right, excellent flip kit conversion right there. Uh, another up smash coming up from Squeak. Still not going to take that stock away, but you know what? Beautiful awareness right there from Latai, knowing that downer is a little bit laggy, able to go ahead and convert. Ooh, Javi in a bad position. Air dodge. He still has his jump, though. Oh, no, Latai. Now that aggression, man, is costing him. He went a little too deep. I'm surprised he didn't just try to go ahead yeah. and do the boost kick to recover. Right. Almost seemed like he didn't know <laughs> that he had already burned his jump. <laughs> I mean, yo, in a stunning turn of events already, this is an even game. Alright, good up smash to go ahead and save his teammate, making sure he didn't need too much more percent. 
but I like what I'm seeing from the red team so far. They are just keeping up this pressure, you know, really just following up whatever they can. Like, the, the real key right now is the fact that Latai is going so hard for these edge guards on the hobby. Yeah, it's, it's like he understands that he's got to get rid of this cloud, and the way to do so is by fighting him off stage, but it's, it's kind of been going 50-50 for him. I mean, he's either getting the stocks or he's losing them. Lima catching him with a reverse witch twist, and Ooh. nope, I like that tweak. Yeah. Seeing that he wasn't able to go ahead and recover uh, with the full extension off of his climb hazard, you know, took him down with him. Javi and Lima down to their final stocks with uh, Tweak and Latai having one more to spare. Um, Latai, you know, playing very safe, just facing out a lot of these backers, landing himself in there, still not going for any of these grabs, and I like that, just understanding that any hit, just like that, you're gonna lose the sock. Yeah, back here, closing it out. It's definitely last stock for everyone here. One final opportunity to make something happen, take this set home. That within ends up coming out. Oh, luckily, Tweak is able to go ahead and recover. Ooh, I like that, you know, Lima coming out with the cute stuff, couple of the fairs, landing down with that f but not going to get anything else after it. I like that weight coming off from Lima. Got the air dodge, but unable to go ahead and get anything else out of it, though. Ooh, catching everyone in that cross back air. Lima capitalizing with the back air. The tweak all by himself. He doesn't have a limit on deck yet, so he's going to have to be careful about how he throws out these moves, and especially when he's off stage, barely getting away from Lima's aggression now. This is very scary. Has to go deep, landing himself an up air, but Javi has limit on deck. And he can just go ahead and unload that at any time. Yeah. And I like that Lima can throw out Witch Time yep. at any point, and, and that's, that's a it. gone. Yeah. No way. Yeah, right there, Tweak just shaking his head, seeing that, yo, he can't really do anything in that situation. Yeah. Like, he only had one clear path to get to that ledge because you know files recovery when he doesn't have you know limit super linear exactly. i mean even even with uh limit it's linear and you can still punish the, it you can still two frame it and you can see that lima was going for yeah. the witch time oh, he was ready he was like yo i'm gonna slow you down I'm gonna even catch when you he had limit so yeah good stuff to them javi and